the work of this moment. A life is celebrated and others are born and die as I write this sentence. There is the small hum of a machine that runs on the melted bones of dinosaurs and the smell of cut vegetation. There is the taste of salt on my knuckle and glaciers melting and fires in the south of my state. There are circumstances, there are feelings. There are connections to be made or not about memes and twerks and a YouTube version of Johnny Cash at San Quentin when all the prisoners were white. The work lives now and in retrospect. The work lives in an empire of great cruelty and wealth where the average citizen is punished daily and not given what she needs. Give us this day our gluten-free bread. Drones hit targets as we speak. The last bee in the garden has its singular existence as it approaches the lily as an, and is part of a community whose existence is threatened by a plague and pesticides, and yet it cannot present its own case to the world. Hence, Emily Dickinson. That is the work, giving voice to itself, holding within itself the deep notions of the moment. The poem's attention is also its ignorance. The work is beyond unkind to everything it omits. The work cannot fulfill its duties of repairing the broken world all around it. The work struggles to contain itself. It does not bleed to death or get crushed by an army. The poem sucks the nectar and returns to its hive.